I know over here at the news in you, we report on a lot of stories. And a lot of the stories that we report on are tragic, harsh stories that happens in the black community. But today we have two awesome stories that are definitely uplifting and they're great stories. Stories that we need to hear more of. And these stories, you have to dig to find them because these stories, they don't like to just put them on the front page all the time. And the first story we're dealing with is the story of Brad Jordan, known in the music world as Scarface from the Ghetto Boys. Scarface, Brad Jordan, for those that don't know, he's been suffering with a bad kidney for quite some time. And he also was one of the first celebrities to actually catch COVID. And when he caught COVID, he had kidney failure. And back in October of 2020, around about October the 7th, he took to social media and asked if anybody could donate a kidney to him. He suffered, what, about a year and a half trying to wait on his kidney. But one person stepped up to the plate, and that was his son, Chris Jordan. And that's dear and special to a person like me because family is everything. And for his son to step up and give him a kidney, that's fire. You got to respect that. You see, and it's a blessing to the brother. He had surgery, he's doing well. The kidney's functioning good. So that's, Brad is gonna be good. And just think about it, anybody, to give away one of your organs, that's something, that's something because we get two kidneys for a reason. But for you to give one away, and it doesn't matter if it's your father, mother, whoever, for you to have that much love to give one away is something special. And thanks to Willie D for this information, that's how I found it. Because I watch Willie D. You know what I mean? Peace to the ghetto boys. And uh, that's how I found this information to be able to talk about it and to tell you that, yeah, we have good information out here too. All our information is not just about people getting killed and racism. We have this kind of good information, but they don't put this good information on the front page. And that's why it is up to people like Willie D, myself, and others that should report on it. And if you ask me, all the OGs should be reporting on it because everybody fuck with the ghetto boys. Everybody I know was bumping them ghetto boys. Everybody I know is like, we know Brad, we know Scarface, Willie D, Bushwick. It's like we know him ourselves. You know how it go. Seems as if you know him. You know what I'm saying? You was bumping their hits. You know what I mean? But yeah, those are the kind of special stories we got to bring sometime and put the light on that. And that's what I'm doing. I'm shining that light on that. You know what I'm saying? And big ups to his son. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that probably was a scary moment, but hey, they went through it. They overcame it. And now the journey continues. Keep on popping. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali. Intersection in Back Street. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. I'm not who you think I am. Your perception is a lesson with a fail grade on it. Yeah. Steady living life like I would never see the morning True shit, man, I'm more than pain, I'm more than stain on sidewalk I'm more than black skin on my face, destined to be great Gotta elevate, mind elevation is the game that I gotta play Gotta win, gotta find escape to a better day